Hello, I'm Piers Corbyn from Weather Action Long Range Weather and Climate Forecasters and today, the 22nd of February, I'm going to give a brief report on the development of winter in the Northern Hemisphere, how that's related to events in the stratosphere and what that means in terms of the approaching mini ice age. Okay. Well, what we said in advance about the way the winter in Britain and Ireland would develop was that it would be a late winter, that meaning that December would not be especially cold, if cold at all, and there would be some extreme snow events later on uh, in, in this winter. That is how it has panned out. And in terms of the details of the extreme snow events, both in Britain, uh, Europe and America, we've had tremendous success from weeks and, in some instances, months in advance. Okay, now I'm going to talk briefly about the relevance of the stratosphere to what's happened uh, in terms of these snow events. Now the stratosphere is a layer of the atmosphere above the one where the weather happens. The weather happens as we experience it in what's called the tropopause, troposphere, which is, goes up to the height of aeroplanes fly about 10 kilometers. Sudden warming of the upper stratosphere, what happens is the jet stream, which is lower down, which is fast air in the atmosphere, goes fast, it goes into more wiggles. And that means that the low pressure systems go off their normal course a lot more, and you could get bursts of very cold air coming south during the winter. This is about a winter stratosphere phenomenon. This was discovered by astrophysicists in the 1970s, but it was only really applied in meteorology in, in recent years. And uh, this January, it was noticed, there was a sudden warming in the upper stratosphere at the level of one millibar pressure, and therefore it was pointed out there will be big snow events due to these excursions of cold air surging south in, in America or, or Britain. Now, we then said, oh yes, that's going to happen, but there's going to be more warmings as well. And here we were talking about the lower stratosphere which caused some confusion for some people. But we said there would be warmings in the lower stratosphere which would precede the snow events we talked about. And we said there would be, in fact, three warmings. And these all happened. There weren't big deals in terms of graphs, but certainly, if you look at the graphs, um, the upper stratosphere had a big peak in it, and after that, there were three little peaks in the lower stratosphere and those three little peaks all preceded by a week or something like that the events which we predicted for the surface. The first big snow event we said of the winter in the United Kingdom would be uh, just after mid-January and uh, there was a lot of doubt in the minds of standard meteorology that, that would come but it did come and it hit hard around about 18th of January. Blizzard conditions in a lot of places. Um, and six inches, almost a foot of snow in some places as well. So we we're very pleased with that. The second snow event, we said, would be around about end of Jan, early February. And indeed, the United Kingdom was hit around the 5th of February, which again was within our time window. So we were very pleased with that. And the third one, very interesting period, was the 13th to 17th of February. We said there would be a big hit of snow in uh, the United Kingdom. And there was, in fact, on the 13th of February, exactly that. Big blizzards with, uh, well, a foot of snow on unofficial records in, in places. Certainly uh, six inches, ten inches in a lot of places. It only lasted around on the ground for about a day and, 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 and melted, but nevertheless it did happen and was a significant event. Confirming our prediction. Now, in parallel with those, 
We also, for most of them, were predicting big snow events in America. Uh, not necessarily at the same time, but mostly they were at the same time because the solar effect on the jet stream is a world phenomenon. The jet stream is a one system going around the world. Okay, and uh, there were snow events mostly in the northeast USA to do with low pressures, active low pressures coming up and getting involved with hot, colder air over Canada making blizzard events in northeast USA. Now, we had one such event predicted for around the 8th of, of uh, February, for example, um, which actually we didn't have a very big event, but uh, that was the date of the gigantic blizzard, which, which uh, caused such huge problems. So that one happened, it was bigger than what we said. Um, we had expected there would actually be a bigger one in the period 13th to 17th uh, in America. Now, what happened on the 17th uh, was actually a very, very severe storm coming up the coast of the uh, east coast of the USA. And it did, it did give blizzards in a number of places and you know, severe snow, which was excellent confirmation. But it mostly it stayed out to sea just a bit too much to make a very, very big blizzard, which would have been bigger than the uh, one that had already happened. Now, it was pointed out by meteorologists in America that had that storm come in maybe another 50 miles, it would have been an enormous blizzard, even bigger than had happened the week before. Our prediction in general terms of potentially something extremely severe then in that time window was correct, and we are pleased about that. So looking at the winter as a whole in the Northern Hemisphere, what does it mean? First of all, it was generally cold because Asia was extremely cold for a long period of time. East Europe had very cold blasts as well. Um, United Kingdom overall probably below normal. Um, the US of A, again, uh, a late winter, but some, some very cold bits uh, in, in, in Canada, especially, um, and those important extreme snow events. So generally cold, feature one. Feature two, extreme contrast through the winter, some quite mild bits, as well as very cold bits, and that comes from big meanders in the jet stream. Now, both the generally cold aspect and the meanders in the jet stream giving extreme contrast are features of the approaching mini ice age, which we have been predicting for some time. And we see continuing in the next decade or, or even longer, generally colder, mostly colder winters and more contrasty weather and wetter summers and more contrast in the summers. This is what is happening in the world not what the man-made climate change uh, religious group talk about. Um, after all, these were the people that said by the end of the uh, uh, decade, it was just gone, we'd see the end of snow. They're talking rubbish. And I urge you please to come on our website, weatheraction.com, follow the weather, follow the climate debate, and argue with politicians about their attempts to tax you in the name of saving the planet, otherwise known as man-made climate change. It is nonsense. Thank you.